Here is a very interesting application question based on functions. The question here is, express hypotenuse age of a right triangle with given area A as a function of its perimeter. So we are going to derive a very general formula. So let's consider a right triangle. So in this triangle, we are given that the hypotenuse is H, the area is A, right, and the perimeter is P. Let us assume that these sides are A and B, right. So that is the right triangle we are talking about. We need to express hypotenuse as a function of P. That means we have to find what is H of P, right. That is what we need to find. So in our equation, we can have only two variables h and p, not b and a. Here we are given area a, right? So for given area, which is a for us. Is that clear to you, right? So uh, let us see how we can do it. To begin with, since we are given the area of a right triangle, so area is equals to half of base times height which is a right so that gives us the value of a times b is 2a right so 2a is product of a and b so that is one equation which we have now perimeter is defined as sum of all the sides right so we can write perimeter is equals to a plus b plus h and that we can write in terms of P and H as uh, A plus B is equals to P minus H, right? So we call this as our second equation. Is that clear, right? So we are relating P and H in terms of A and B. Now, we also know Pythagorean theorem, so that should also be taken into account. So we have A square plus B square equals to h square right so let's call this as our equation number three okay. now how do we relate hypotenuse as a function of perimeter well let's begin with something like this we know a plus b if i write whole square of a plus b I get a square plus 2ab plus b square, correct? Now, a plus b is p minus h. So, I could replace a plus b with perimeter minus hypotenuse and square, correct? So, what we did here, we sub equation 2 in here, right? So, so we sub equation 2 for a plus b equals to p plus h p minus h right now on the other side we can rearrange and write this as a square plus b square plus 2ab so we have p and h now we have to get rid of a's and b's a square plus b square h square so we can write this as p minus h whole square equals to a square plus b square is h square right and AB is twice A. So it is plus 2 times twice A. So we substituted equation 1 and 2 here, right? So uh, rather 1 and 3. So now we sub equation 1 and equation 3 and get rid of A's and B's. You get the idea. Perfect. Now we need to express hypotenuse as a function of perimeter. So basically, we need to isolate H, right? So that is the whole idea. So let us expand the left side. So we get here perimeter square minus 2 times perimeter times height plus height square equals to height square plus 4A, right? Now bringing H terms together and the other terms, we get uh, in this particular case H square minus h square plus 2ph equals 2. So we brought these terms to the right side. So we get p square minus 4a, right? 
Now here h square and h square cancel. So what are we left with? Let me do it on the right side, right? So let's write down here first. 2 pH is equals to P square minus 4A. And from here you get what H is. So H is equal to P square minus 4A divided by 2P. Clear? So that is how we could isolate hypotenuse as a function of perimeter. So what we get here is that the hypotenuse as a function of perimeter can be written as perimeter square minus 4A over 2P. Is that clear? Now this is extremely important relation and I hope it will help you in many situations. As such, this particular derivation is of prime importance from test point of view. So I hope you understand each and every step. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, it'll be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.